San Francisco, also known as Frisco Maru and Frisco, is a super rare rarity heavy cruiser from the Eagle Union and is part of the New Orleans class of heavy cruiser. She's only available during the Mirror Involution banner, which is currently having a rerun from the 21st to the 28th of June. Frisco was launched at the Mare Island Navy Yard on the 9th of March 1933, commissioned on the 10th of February 1934, decommissioned on the 10th of February 1946, stricken on the 1st of March 1959, and sold for scrap on the 9th of September 1959, being scrapped in May of 1961 in Panama City, Florida. Frisco did the usual tasks an American heavy cruiser did in the Second World War. Here are her more interesting exploits. Was the last of the U.S. cruisers built to the specification of the Washington Naval Treaty. Participated in Fleet Problems 16 and 20. Was part of the Neutrality Patrol along the Atlantic coast of the United States and was relieved of the flagship duty by Wichita. Her off-duty signalman, Ed Ifkin, was relaxing on the signal bridge and was the first U.S. sailor to report the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Some members of the crew crossed to the New Orleans to help man the AA batteries, while others used rifles and MGs. Ifkin was thought to be horsing around when he first reported the planes, and then went on to say that the Arizona burned for two days. Frisco was undamaged. Sortied with Task Force 14 to relieve Wake Island with Saratoga and Tangier. Had a scout plane go missing and was not found. Later, the plane was sighted by Minneapolis with the communications having failed in the plane. Participated in Operation Watchtower, covering U.S. forces in the area, having Rear Admiral Norman Scott's flag shifted to her. Surface screened with Salt Lake City, Minneapolis, Chest, Boise, and Helena. Participated in the Battle of Cape Esperance, resulting in Salt Lake City, Boise, Duncan, and Fahrenheit being damaged, with Duncan later sinking. IJN Furutaka and a destroyer were sunk as well. Chester, Frisco, and Helena were later torpedoed by a sub. Participated in the Battle of Guadalcanal, being hit by a torpedo bomber, resulting in 24 killed, 45 wounded, and 1 missing. Frisco accidentally targeted Atlanta, killing Admiral Scott and most of Atlanta's bridge crew. IJN Kirishima and Nagata were able to score a direct hit on Frisco's navigation bridge killing or badly wounding all officers except Lieutenant Commander Bruce McCandless. 86 men, including Rear Admiral Daniel J. Callahan and Captain Casson Young were killed. 85 were wounded and 7 were missing, 3 of which being rescued. Frisco, during the Battle of Guadalcanal, took 45 direct hits. While being repaired, she was modernized. Shot down two Japanese torpedo bombers but was strafed multiple times, resulting in one killed and 22 wounded. Lexington was later torpedoed. Became the second most decorated U.S. ship of World War II after USS Enterprise. In her character art, drawn by Nagu, Frisco wears a black and white sleeveless dress with a metal and glowing pink necklace and bust support, a navy blue and black jacket, which is partially zipped up at the bottom. Has USS on the inside to her right, and a heart and excise pin to her left. Mismatched length stockings that are black and pink, with the lower one having a strap on her exposed upper right thigh. Fingerless gloves with metallic studs on the knuckles. Black hair ribbons that tie her hair into horns. Pink and white zip-up high-top sneakers, and a baseball bat with some boxing tape on it. Her rigging consists of two halves connected to the base of her back. Both sides have a joint with a pink X on it, multiple stickers, such as ones with a similar design to the pin on her jacket, yes, no, a bandage, haha, and so on. Both sides have the front half of ship hulls and triple barrel naval cannons near the pink X. She has a stream of water flowing underneath her that looks like she's kicking it. She also has her funny bunny outfit available for purchase with gems. Frisco wears a black and white strapless lace-up corset with a green smiling pin on her left side, a white and black pleated skirt that's being held up by black suspended straps, black panties, fishnets, a black and white thigh high on her right leg, platform boots with blue and pink soles, a checkered pink and standard blue ribbon underneath, 
with the same pattern being used for her bunny ears and the bow ties around her collar, and a cuff outstretched on her left arm's wrist. She sits on a black leather love seat with multiple magazines and record albums strewn about the place. The table nearby has two playing cards and a dish of fried chicken on it. Her bat is near her feet. The tables behind her have records, a record player, and a blue mixed drink. And the wall behind her has azure lane and blue and yellow neon, fairy lights, and alcohol bottles. In her voice lines, voiced by Tomomi Miniuchi, who also voices UMP45 and Girls Frontline, Frisco is very clearly a delinquent gaidu. お、<笑> フリーだもに過ごしたいっつうことで。さてと、プリンちゃんは味わう番が来たわね。うん。どこから無さぶってやろうか。この一語プリンのことよ。プリンちゃん、はい、笑って。はい、タッチ。お仕事頑張って。<
heavy cruiser gun against all armor types. The new twin 100mm Type 98 Kai for the best general use auxiliary DD gun, which excels at quickly breaking shields and has a high DPS. The twin 57mm L60 for the best general use AA gun, the Beaver Squad Tag for the large buff to evasion, as well as a buff to movement speed, the hydraulic steering gear for a great buff to evasion, and the greatsword for a buff to torpedo and firepower. San Francisco is a very versatile heavy cruiser that depends on her usage with her placement in the Vanguard fleet due to her second skill. Firstly, she gets plus one main gun mount during her limit breaking, which drastically reduces the uptime for her all-out assault. Not to mention, her first skill only needs to wait 10 seconds in between launching special barrages. Her second skill is what makes her so versatile. If she's in the front, she can be a main tank for late game and boss fleet. Middle has her heal her fellow vanguards, which release some pressure off of a better healer such as Perseus, Vestal, or Unicorn Retrofit and rear is off tank that buffs the entire vanguard. Personally, I'd say that Frisco is more geared towards being used in mob fleets, but that also depends on where she is in the vanguard fleet. As for cons, which there aren't many of, there's the obvious limited availability of her. Outside of that, I honestly can't think of any drawbacks. Her first skill buffs her if she doesn't proc it, her second skill gives buffs everywhere, and her AOA decreases speed. Anyways, I'd highly recommend building Frisco if you get her during the event, as she can super easily work with any fleet you work in, as her buffs aren't geared specifically to a specific faction. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates. I also stream, and please check out my other Azure Lane videos as well.